In this Excel lesson, I want to cover something called an if statement. A bit of an advanced feature. Um, it allows you to identify, quickly identify, um, what's happening in a, in, a, in a worksheet such as this one. So here, I want to identify the people who are producing over 200 items, and I want to reward them with a bonus. So I would start, and you always start a new statement with equal if, and then you open your bracket. So the example I often use is if Johnny is good, then allowance, otherwise grounded. So the first part, if the if Johnny is good, that's the condition. So if this is happening, then I want this, otherwise I want something different. So here I'm going to say if this number here, okay, if B3 is greater than 200, then is a comma. Now here I could put a word or I could do some math. We're going to start, we'll, we'll keep it real simple. We'll, we'll keep it as a word here. So now I can say um, good, otherwise bad. And then when I close my bracket, I can now hit enter. So this is the condition. And if this is true, then the word good is going to show up. That's why I put it in quotes. Otherwise, the word bad is going to show up. And that because this person did have over 200, it is good. Now, when I copy this down, oh, I'm moving by accident here. When I copy this down, I'm seeing the good employees and I'm seeing the bad employees. Okay, now this person didn't produce over 200, which is why they're bad, right? So that's a simple if statement. Now, I could have also set it up so that I don't actually see the bad. So if I don't put anything in the quotes, if I just leave it blank and I copy that down, I'm only going to see the good. So if you don't want it showing up, you don't have to put anything in your quotes and that would give you that. Um, conversely, if you were looking at laying off people, you don't have to put anything in the good. And then here, you can lay off the people who are not producing. So lay off. So now only the people who are not producing over 200 are getting laid off. The last thing I want you to know is that you can actually put some math in here instead. So rather than giving me a label, I can say, I'm just going to delete this part right here. So I'm staying with, if it's greater than 200, then I can say, I give them a bonus for every piece that they produced. Um, so I can say B3, then I want you to multiply B3 times five percent otherwise zero so I'm gonna give him I'm giving him a bonus here so here I'm giving this person a ten dollar bonus so only the people who produced over 200 are getting a bonus and I can change the bonus if I find five percent is too small I can increase that to 20 percent and then copy that down So that's an if statement. It starts with equal if. Um, once you do a few, it's actually quite easy. You open your bracket, and then this is the important part. If this happens, then give them this. Otherwise, do that. 